The Brian McMahon Lifetime Achievement Award. And much like the Baseball Hall of Fame, which is always nice to recognize and honor as we sit here in Cooperstown. Some year there's multiple recipients, some years there's one, some years there's none. This year we're privileged and honored to recognize two individuals for their extraordinary effort and dedication to the economic development profession. Richard Dixon began his tenure as Chief Financial Officer with the County of Chautauqua IEA in July of 2006. In that time, Rich has played a major role in all economic development activities in Chautauqua County as a behind-the-scenes orchestrator of several high-impact deals that have had recurring impacts for the local economy. His leadership and dedication are directly related to the creation and retention of thousands of jobs and the investment of hundreds of millions of private dollars in Chautauqua County. Some of those projects include SFK Aerospace, the Altec Revolving Loan Fund, the Chautauqua Harbor Hotel, Athenex Immunity Bio, Southern Tier Brewing Company, and more than a billion dollars in commercial and wind and solar projects. As one of our members, Mark Geis, put it, Rich Dixon, there is a very unique cat. <laughs> Never in the history of man has there been anyone who has honed their bartending skills into a successful economic development career. If all economic developers were bartenders at some point. <laughs> Rich is a machine and an influencer. His pragmatism is unmatched in the world of economic development. Upon entering a discussion about something involving someone, he inevitably says, Let's pick up the phone and call them right now. That is the way of Rich, who is a critical pathfinder by nature. Always follows through on what he promises, knows everyone, and probably one of the best skills of all, limits all emails to two sentences. <laughs> <laughs> Rich oversees a $2.5 million annual operational budget in a team of four business development managers, a financial controller, and several administrative support staff, which is highly respected by his staff and colleagues, as well as local elected officials and the business community throughout the county. Rich's professional and personal demeanor and get it done attitude set the tone of all staff in the agency. But even though he's a get to the point type of guy, he always has time just to share a story, tell a joke, show off pictures of his grandchildren with pride, and to tell his colleagues about his daughter's wedding plans, including the cost. I don't know about that, but that's what I've been told. After all, he is a numbers guy. As Mark Guy, CEO of the Chautauqua County IDA, puts it, Rich is an inspiration to all of us as he acts as a mentor and a friend to not only the business community throughout Chautauqua County, but also county government and the organizations he serves. He's been a stabilizing factor through administration and leadership changes, always guiding with a steady hand and confident approach. Rich is a friend to all and is a champion behind the successes we have experienced as the County of Chautauqua IDA. As his longtime friend and colleague Harry Sickerman says, when the Chautauqua County IDA Board of Directors snagged Rich Dixon from the private sector in the summer of 2006 to become its CFO, it was with the expectation that he would manage the wide range of agencies' financial products in a professional manner, and just as importantly, accurately count all the beans. What they didn't know was they weren't just getting a bean counter, they were getting a bean grower. From his first day on the job, Rich combined his financial skills with a unique ability to connect with the business community, elected officials, and the general public that has helped establish the CCIDA as one of the premier economic development agencies in New York State. It is my privilege to call him a friend. In addition to all his professional accolades, Rich has been a fixture at NYS EDC event for years, offering the occasional joke and the ever-consistent outreach, mentorship, and support to his fellow economic developers, myself included. Rich has also served on several boards in the community, including the Chautauqua County Leadership Network, 
STERA, Citizens Opportunity for Development, NIPA Economic Development Power Allocation, the Southern Tier Extension Railroad Authority, and the Chautauqua County Patrons. It is now my privilege to call up and recognize Rich Dixon, a 2022 Brian T. McMahon Lifetime Achievement Award. All the members, the board, the staff, and the nominating committee for this prestigious award. I'd also like to thank Bill Daly. 16 years ago, Bill gave me a shot. Turned out okay for me. I'd also like to thank all the employees at the IDA. We have a very hardworking, young, and talented group. We have some here tonight. Nate's here. And Nate Aldridge does a fabulous job. Thank you, Nate. Thank you for all the employees. And a special thanks to Mark Geis for all of Mark's support he's given me throughout the years. But not only his support, but he is a visionary. And it's great to have a bean counter that has a vision to go after, because then you can get right into it. And Mark's a planner by trade, but I like the action plan, so we work well together. Uh, I'd also like to thank Harry Sickerman, who's here. I'd also like to thank George Craig, who is not here. <laughs> Joe Scott's here, I'd like to thank him for all the years of help and advice. And there's a couple more I want to thank, and I'm going to move on here. But I was looking up the other day, a counselor at law. What is a counselor at law? Immediately thought of Greg Peterson from Phillips Lab. For two decades, Greg has been advising me, not only in this job, but in previous jobs. And one thing I can tell you about Greg Peterson's advice, you might not want to hear it, but you were going to get the truth, and at the end of the conversation, you knew it was the right thing to do. Thank you, Greg. Most of all, I'd like to thank my wife. She's been my best friend, my biggest friend. Pennsylvanians, we got <laughs> Thank you, Greg Carroll. I couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> when, 50 years ago, I was playing baseball out in the field with the boys. My father pulls up in the car. I turned to the guys and said, hey, I'm going to go get my driver's permit. We went to the high school and got my working papers. <laughs> okay? The next day, I'm at Jamestown Metal Products, where they made metal sheet metal cabinets for submarines, for battleships, and you name it, they made it. I immediately fell in love with manufacturing. For the next five, six summers, I toiled away in different factories in Jamestown, and I loved it. And that's where I got the, the bug for the factories. Uh, and I would like to dedicate this award to all the men and women of Chautauqua County who worked from 7 to 3, 3 to 11, and 11 to 7, and they made fantastic Thank you, everybody. 